Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about the top 10 most beautiful evening gowns that we have seen in Miss Grand International stage. Today, we are going to discuss the most beautiful evening gowns that we have witnessed that, that we have witnessed grace the stage of Miss Grand International from the beginning of the pageant up to the most recent edition, which means from 2013 to 2019. The basis of this ranking is mostly determined by the design of the gown and how beautiful it is. And the ranking is slightly affected by their execution and performance. And then again, it's mostly based on the gown itself. So again, here are the top 10 most beautiful evening gowns in Miss Grand International in history. Starting with my number 10, 2016 Thailand. Some may say that this gown is too blue and would need some more additional colors as a highlight. To be honest, I don't think so because this gown looked fabulous. I think adding some accessories with the same shades made it even more appealing. I really enjoy the cut of the gown, especially the super thigh-high slit. I really like that. Plus, the beads or gems embedded to the dress gives some more texture to it rather than just the plain smooth blue fabric. Number 9, 2017 South Sudan. I was reflecting for a long time whether to include this in my list or not because even if the pattern of the white applique attached to the new dish foundation of the dress looked super beautiful, I still feel like it's missing something. However, I just cannot deny that adding the plain white cape and seeing her glow in the dress is just amazing. Her beautiful complexion in that gown just blended perfectly and gave us that beautiful sight to see on that stage. Number 8, 2018, India. I love seeing gold gowns in Miss Grand International because it fits perfectly with the crown. Minakshi made an ex excellent choice with this gown. I love the conservative vibe that the gown gave, especially with the choice of the long sleeves, which is perfect, but also giving us the flattering neckline, which is a great fusion of both ideas. If there's one thing that I would like to change in this gown, I would cut some more for the slit, about two or three inches more, but nevertheless, this is just so beautiful and very difficult to ignore. Number 7, 2013, Puerto Rico. She is the first winner of Miss Grand International, and when she came out of that stage in her evening gown, it is already clear that she gave a winner vibe. And I just love that. I love how beautiful the neckline of the gown is and how it emphasized her figure. Aside from that, the details of the gown is completely mesmerizing that it suits her aura and beauty perfectly. I love how the gown looked as if it was just made for her. Also, revealing a huge part of her back is also very flattering as it reveals some of her skin. When she did her pose at the center of the stage, that was the real highlight of it all because she was a vision on that stage. Number 6, 2016, Indonesia. Indonesia just hit the bullseye this year with a perfect combination of Ariska's styling and that gown choice. I love the wheat colored gown embedded with those green gems highlighting some very beautiful areas and in close-up, the pattern of those stones looked much better. Just by looking at the way she walks, I love how it completely highlighted her figure from the top to the bottom part before go going to the mermaid tail, which I believe also helps a lot, giving some more life to the gown. Number 5, 2017, 
Indonesia. And oh my gosh, I cannot fathom the amount of details in this gown. I love how it appears as an avant-garde dress, also bordering futuristic, and there's just too much to say and to acknowledge in this gown. I love the risk being taken here in this gown, not only through the very intricate designs, but also for Dea who wore this beautifully. I love how this fishnet feels of the gown was attached to the skin tone fabric to give that nude skin effect and that's genius and it also emphasized how beautiful the details of the gown are plus look at how the gown shimmers under the spotlight i mean adding those crystals on those fishnet gown that is a product of a tremendous work so well done to whoever it is that designed Deus gown Number four, 2017, Venezuela. This dress just screams power, elegance, beauty, romance, and royalty all in one. I just love how commanding her presence was when she was wearing the gown. And first of all, those beautiful red patterns being are being highlighted in a beautiful way and is giving that romantic touch to it especially with how beautiful the gown is and that deep neckline is very very flattering i am also glad that the camera went behind each and every contestant that year and for that for that idea it gave a beautiful shot of the back angle of venezuela's gown which highlighted that amazing pattern at the back of her cape which is just stunning this is just a majestic gown if you ask me number three 2015 japan let me just start by saying that i am not a huge fan of green gowns because the color could go either way and in order for the green gown to truly stand out it needs to be phenomenal i still remember in 2015 how amazed i was when i saw that gown and when i say green gown needs to be amazing this is what I mean. It looks super elegant and just gives a combination of that sexy and classic feels. And look at the deep neckline. I mean, that's just beautiful. And the gold pattern, I did not expect that the combination of gold and green would go perfectly together. And the edge of that neckline is just gorgeous and especially the chest piece my goodness i love it and amazing i love how it complemented her skin perfectly her beauty and her hairstyle was complemented overall i mean everything just is a combination of different elements but it created a beautiful image of japan during the evening gown competition and when she walks the velvety smoothness of the fabric is really highlighted which is really really good look just look at the way she walks i mean you can really feel the texture and the smoothness of her gown and i love that number two 2019 panama her gown during the national finals was impressive and she even went far and topped it off with an even more beautiful gown during the competition and during the competition i immediately knew that this would be an easy choice for the best gowns in history for this pageant i mean the mixture of lavender and silver is super beautiful and this doesn't happen all the time we rarely see this combo for gown colors and gown combinations in any beauty pageants but panama delivered and made it so well for this combination i love the straps leaning all in just one side i love the view and how it was arranged i really like the idea of it as well because it's it looks super super gorgeous the neckline is stunning and the length of the slit is just perfect and adding those first at the edges of the slit area gives some vibe of smoothness to the overall vibe and i love that it would take a very confident woman to wear a gown this beautiful and i believe panama did it perfectly and the best gown in history for miss grand international is no other than peru 
this is the gown of a winner and this is undoubtedly a winning gown by just how it looked. That off-shoulder lace strap screams goddess to me by its color, design, and pattern. Maria Ocelora's body is already one of the most beautiful that year, but just look at how the dress was cut in the abdomen area, not only to reveal the back, but also to make her figure even more beautiful from afar. And it just highlighted, it made her figure even beyond perfection. That's how it affected the overall aura of the gown and the intricately designed applique that it, it's just breathtaking overall. This gown will just leave you with a wow expression and will make whoever wears it as the center of the attention because that's what Maria Jose Laura did with her alluring beauty in that dress. She just simply took our attention and just blew everyone away. So that's it. These are my top 10 favorite gowns in history for Miss Grand International. And I would love to hear more about your thoughts. Are there gowns that I missed out which you think deserves to be on this list? So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.